Uh, this is my camera. It's a Pentax K. Uh, no, that's not it. It's a Pentax ZXM. It's a kind of camera I'd like you to have for this class. It's called Single Lens Reflex because you look through the same viewfinder that the lens sees. I'm going to talk just a little bit about the two major operations of the camera to get the correct exposure. One of them is the shutter speeds. Now the shutter speeds, they're pretty easy, right? They're often located up here at the top, sometime on the right side here. If you have a, a more expensive camera, you might have it internally on a screen and you'd have to look through the viewfinder to see it. But the shutter speeds uh, represent the length of time that the film is going to be exposed to light. Now you see all these numbers on here and I can't get it closer because then they'd be really out of focus. But uh, they often range from a thousandth of a second down to one full second. This particular camera goes down to two full seconds of time and uh, as high as a two thousandth of a second. So my question to you is where do you think you would set it if you were photographing sports and you wanted to make sure that you were going to capture the motion so that it wouldn't be blurred. Which end do you think you would be using more than likely? The two seconds or the two thousandth of a second?